Hi guys, yeah, welcome back. Thanks for clicking. So we're going to be checking out habits of Prophet Muhammad. So these are the habits of Prophet Muhammad, which science proved later. So let's check it out. Habits of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has a lot of benefits, which science and medical proved after many years of research. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to wake up early. He used to start his day by early, for Fajr prayer. Science proved that, waking up early increases productivity, as well as, people who wake up early, are less likely to be depressed. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to eat less. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to eat less to prevent disease and sickness. After many years science proved, eating less can help you fight many diseases. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to eat slow. It takes 20 minutes to send signals to brain which tells that, the tummy is full. Eating slow improves digestion, as well as, slow eating is now highly recommended by science. Eating at once. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, always told us to eat together as a family. Today science proved that, eating together reduces stress. Drinking water in three breaths. Modern science claimed now, drinking water at once can cause headaches, dizziness, and imbalance, in blood electrolytes. Eating pomegranates. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, liked pomegranates, and today science declared, pomegranates as the healthiest fruit on earth. Eating dates. Dates stabilizes the blood sugar level, electrolyte levels, and rebalance blood in our body. Science proved that, dates can boost oxycontin production in the body, and speed up labor. Fasting. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told Muslims to fast during Ramadan. And today scientists declared, fasting in Ramadan is highly healthy, and helps body fight cancer cells. Prayer. Three out of five pillars of Islam keeps a human fit. Prayer is also a form of exercise. And obviously science tells us, to do exercise daily to keep our heart and brain healthy. Mm. Nice, wow. But even though they didn't discover this, this is what a spiritual person should do. Somebody that is connected to God, whether you're a believer or you're not a believer, is something that is is hygienic for the body. So what can actually predict? Well, I think this are uh, actually right because it's something that you know a a prophet wants to do, wants to take. You know, personal hygiene is very very important. Like she said, she said you have to exercise, wake up early. Prophet Mama wakes up early. You know, it's good for the body. You know, you eat slowly. You eat more. You eat less. You eat slowly. You know, there is a particular food that Prophet Mama eat, and you know. It's recommended for one to eat. I've never had that fruit before, and I don't know if it's it's looking like a common fruit here in Africa, but I don't know if it's the same fruit that I've seen before. But uh, does it taste like apple or how does it taste? Well, let's leave that one aside, guys. So, and um, she also spoke about fasting. Fasting is very good for the body. As a true believer, as a prophet. As a religious person, this a necessity that you need to take for healthy body, for for spiritual growth and for physical growth. And lastly, she said, Prophet Muhammad, you know, uh, Prophet Muhammad, uh, prays. Prayer is the key. When you pray, 
you know you tend to communicate with God well you tend to you know understand him and it's a form of charging your spiritual self like charging yourself you know that's a way of you know nourishing your spiritual body your spiritual self because when you pray that's when you can communicate with God and that's when God you know answer us speedily so that was a beautiful one and wow beautiful thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye